J. Summerall. I'm here at Centrum in Port Townsend. I took a train ride from Washington, D.C. to here, and um, I'm here to play the blues at a seminar at Centrum. And um, I was born in Rockville, Maryland, and uh, I'm a harmonica player for a band called Little Bit of Blues. I've been doing it for a long time, and uh, it's something I love, so it's better than a regular job. Um, it's not hard. It's just something I grew up doing and trying to make people happy. Well, my grandfather, he played the blues, and I grew up in a neighborhood where they had a lot of juke joints, and <clears throat> it was just a lot of music around me, and uh, I took music in, the, in uh, I think, like, the fourth grade, I started playing a trumpet, and I've been playing ever since. I always played a harmonica, and, um, I gave up the trumpet because I figured the harmonica was easy to carry. I um, really like it, and it's been 40 years I've been playing it. Well, enjoy it and try to do as much as you can. Um, practice all the time and try to be creative. Well, I'm listening to blues music. It's a good feeling, and... Um, a lot of people think it's sad, but I don't think it's sad. I enjoy playing it. I think it's happy music. It's a way of expressing yourself. My favorite three CDs. It's hard because I really like the blues. I like all the blues. But um, Little Walter, Junior Wells, <clears throat> and uh, James Cotton. Most, most of the music I like is by those three guys. Well, music was a, a very special part of my life when I was young. My grandfather, he played the blues, and uh, a lot of people in my neighborhood played it. And all around me was a lot of juke joints where people like uh, Little Richard, James Brown, Etta James, all these people played around me like at the ballparks and little juke joints, little beer joints. And I got into a lot of instruments. So I, I got to be a percussionist. I played um, drums and harmonica, and I sing and I whistle, and just try to really be involved in my music. Well, my grandmother, she whistled a lot, working in the garden and picking beans and just, you know, she had a big garden in her backyard, so she always whistled, so I learned to whistle from her. And it's just something I picked up and always did. I like fishing a lot, and I uh, used to whistle while I fished, and I got to be pretty good at it, I guess, enough to accompany myself. Well, the first blues song, it wasn't blues. I learned how to play Mary Had a Little Lamb and stuff like that at first, and that's what I learned in school. But then I got old and I heard a lot of blues, and I got so I would play a lot of runs and riffs and just messing around with it and just playing the blues, the rhythm and stuff, something similar to this. That's just, just something basic. That's just something basic. But that's one of the first things you learn. And uh, that was when I practiced, and then it got better and better. I tried to get more advanced. And uh, I've been doing that since I was a little kid. What I think about when I play the blues, it makes me happy, but most blues songs like talk about something that happened to people. So it's a way to express things that have happened. But it doesn't make you sad. It makes you happy because you're getting it off of your mind. But um, I don't know. I've never seen the blues make nobody sad. Sometimes they see songs and, and they make you remember the things that you've been through. 
So you got that over with, so you're happy that it's gone. Bands that I work with, I work with, I've worked with a lot of bands. I've worked with Starland Vocal Band, I was stage manager, and they let me play a couple of songs with them and sing a couple of things with them. And I work with a band called Small Talk and a and, um, band called Silver Spring. And Mr. Warren and I have been together for 20 something years. And um, I don't know, we've been on the road with a lot of people like Junior Wells and Sonny Rhodes and Gate Moth Brown. And, um, Open up for Jackson Brown and just a whole lot of blues musicians. We do the national folk festivals for the Smithsonian. We have a CD on Folkway Records. So we do a lot of national festivals. It's been with a whole lot of people. And it's helped me a whole lot with my music, being around a bunch of the older guys. Okay, the Mecca Blues. Blues for me is down in, I guess, maybe Memphis or Tennessee and um, New Orleans. I like Southern blues. And um, I don't know, really, I find most of the blues I like on on the East Coast, down in the South. Oh yeah, you can definitely tell the difference. You definitely can tell the difference. Yeah, mostly blues in Chicago is with bands. And the blues that I play, I play like a duo. I play stuff like Sonny Terry and Brian McGee and Little Walter and a um, lot of duo music. And um, most of that is from the South. What I'm working on next, I just finished the CD. It just came out and then we had one on Folkway Records and we have two on Patuxent Records. So my next project is probably Blues in the Schools. And um, Mr. Warren and I have a lot of shows to do. and. Um, I have a couple more shows to do with a couple more people, but um, I hope we can do another CD too. So um, I'm just trying to regroup and do other stuff. You yeah, handle my own business. I handle my own business. I do a lot of it. I um, have a lot of friends in the music um, society that help me out a lot. I um, I have a lot of people at the Smithsonian Folkways that book us gigs and they come through me. And um, I, get, I get calls from a lot of people that I know from years ago, from back in the 70s. So I got a lot of people helping me out. Here at Center, and what the most important things are for my kids to learn, I teach them how to play with people and not step on lyrics and not step on the music and how to trade licks and um, on harmonica. And basically, how to get, how to, I guess maybe approach the blues, how to approach the blues. And uh, they seem to be enjoying it, and I'm having a lot of fun also. So I've been teaching a lot of licks, a lot of nursery rhymes, and trying to get them an idea what where to put it at in the blues. <laughs> Thank you. See you later. <laughs>